So welcome to a new tutorial. Um, today we want to show you how to build up IDS profiles which you can use in the TPS software. First of all we go to ids-imaging.com. The first step you have to do is a free registration which you can do here. I just did it so I can go on. After you register Please go to Support, to Downloads, choose the Industrial Cameras, choose the interface USB 3, the family CP Rev 2, in my case is it the CPC IQ Rev 2 1 camera, and Show. Here you can download the full installer software suite that we will do. After you finish the download, you will find it in the downloads, then we open up the IDS software suite, full, choose the first data, choose the middle one, it's in German, it's called Access. Yes. We choose it in English, so we're running through it. Yes, next. We do the complete version, so next. That's fine. That's also fine. That's also fine. The, the notification is fine. You can just click OK. After installation, you can choose where you want to have shortcuts. So, in my case, um, I want it on the desktop, but not in the quick launch, and I don't want to show the quick start HTML. So I have a i7 CPU, that's fine, just click OK and finish it. Well, before we can start building up profiles, we have to do one thing first in the TPS configuration. So just go to C program data. Please mind that program data is a hide folder, so you just can go in the task list and write it down. Then we go to Trackman, and then we go to VMS Config, and there we create a folder called UI Profiles, which I did here already, where we can save our profiles later. After creating the folder. In the menu, we can open up the IDS camera manager where we can see now there's one camera detected, uh, which is called UI3i6X. We open it up, we select no profile, which is very important. Now the camera opens up and we see a live video. We can do it a half of the size so we can see everything and then we can start with the settings. So just click on the wrench tool, go to camera and there you can see the pixel clock. Just set it to the half and then we have the fastest loading times later in TPS. We do it now here with a 98 frames per second and the exposure time is about 0.3. Important is here, do not go higher than 0 0.6 and when it's not possible, as close to because when it's higher, you will get a little bit of blur onto the club head. So keep close to 0 0.6. After this, we check the format as well. There you can see, okay, we are on the right conditions. RGB 24 and then we can close it. We just save the parameters to a file which I did here already and which is very important that the name of the camera is set first. So in this case you see and then you can do a bottom line 
and call it whatever you want. In this case, we do it just down the line because it's a down the line camera. Write it down here and save it. Important for saving is that you are in the right folder. So we just created it before in Trackman farm as config UI profiles, and there we save it. Save the profile in the right folder, then we close camera manager and the cockpit that the camera is free to use and we open then trackman performance you go to shot analysis and then you can see just right here there's one camera selected which is the ui camera which with a serial number and when you click on settings you will see okay ui profiles and then there's just one at the moment which is called down the line so we can't choose when you have two or three of it you can just choose via a drop down is which profile you want and then we're ready to go some cases TPS can show us uh, is not ready or not detected so in this case we go to see program data, trackman. In this time, we go to video management, and there you will find UI sim profiles. One is a config, one is setting for each camera. This is setting there. So if you have four cameras, then you have five files. Just delete them all and restart TPS and the camera should be active again.